if I had a calculator the day I started and here I was going like, oh, $4,000, when really the calculator is telling me $10,000, I never would have charged $4,000. And it would just be oh, bellissimo. Last week on the Codex channel, I had a pricing calculator which I was putting together. And this was actually quite popular. I had a lot of people wanting to contribute to it. So this week, what I'm gonna do is open this up on GitHub to be open source so that you can actually apply and work with me on it. On top of that, I'll be sharing the updates in Discord and I'm going to put together a Notion board where we can see all the tasks that are needing to be done. I wanna create a design in Figma and I also want to start working on the API that's going to handle all of this. But in order to do that, I need to know all the metrics and variables to be able to handle creating a price for a website. So I'm thinking of opening up a Google Sheet where I go through and collect all of those and figure out the equations to create the price for a website. I've also got Carl and Bailey, which are going to be helping me this week, as well as Sam. And they all do freelancing and work in marketing companies, and they'll be able to figure out exactly how to price a website. So let's actually meet them right now. Question one, how much did you charge when you first started? Way too little. I think probably average site was between two and three thousand dollars. Before I really got into the industry, I, I couldn't have told you what like a website was worth. I would have just gone, if someone had said to me, hey, ten thousand dollars for a website, I'd be like, ten thousand dollars is a lot of money without knowing what actual work goes into it. It's hard to say in those early days, but definitely not enough for the amount of hours and time and craft that was required. What did you learn about website pricing later on? I learned that there is a massive trend or like a general consensus that web developers and web designers undercharge massively for their websites. And so many people, whether they're new into the game or have been in the game for six years, still don't know how to price their websites. Um, now, I mean, a website baseline would almost be like, we start at $10,000 and we'd probably drop down slightly for, for those smaller projects and obviously increase exponentially based on complexity and that from there. What would it have meant to you to have a pricing calculator? Man, that would have been the best thing ever. It would have been the best thing since sliced bread. I, if I had a calculator the day I started and here I was going like, oh, $4,000, when really the calculator is telling me $10,000, I never would have charged $4,000. And it would just be oh, bellissimo. Um, would a pricing calculator help me? Yeah, it would have at the start, but I think eventually you will kind of figure out. Man, if I had a pricing calculator back in the year 2000, I'd probably be sitting here now semi-retired with a limousine, just chilling and enjoying life. All right, so it seems like a pricing calculator would be pretty cool. Now I'm gonna start off creating the GitHub repository. Let's do this right now. I think this might be the first real GitHub repository I've actually created that's going to be something that a lot of people can use. I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna build it, but I think the repository will be public and it's gonna allow anyone to jump in here and help me contribute. But I'll start it off with just maybe something like a readme that people can contribute to. So here I'm gonna call this uh, maybe the pricing uh calculator api api maybe just pricing calculator yeah i think just pricing calculator that might be enough uh and then a readme can be initialized uh license type i guess it's open to the public man i wish there was better information on this uh, gnu public license all right let's just use that gnu public license version 3 beautiful and let's create this there we go, we've got our pricing calculator repository. All right, so I'm gonna link this in the comments below. So if you guys wanna start, follow it, contribute to it, then feel free to. I need to still build a plan around this as well as a design and a website. So let's look at that now. All right, I'm here in Notion. I'm gonna create a brand new board. Let's call this to-do, pull this out. Let's make it a little nice icon for it. Um, so we've got our to-do list. Uh, so this one here, I'm gonna share to the web as well. And this is gonna be in the comments below. All right, with Notion done, let's create the website. I'm gonna create the landing page on Editor X. It'll probably take me just like five or 10 minutes. And later on, we'll hopefully be able to incorporate the API into that. So let's do that right now. All right, let's jump on Editor X here, create a brand new website over here. And I'm gonna call this the pricing calculator. Just keep it nice and simple. Uh, I'll probably need to build up a logo for this later on if anyone is good at logo design. Otherwise, maybe I'll just see what I can come up with Figma, which I think I'll build up next. 
So for the time being, what I think I'll do with this is I'll open this up to also be available for people to collaborate with me. You might have to ping me, so put it in the Discord if you do want to do that. And I'll call this pricing calculator. So that's ready to go. Next up, I need a Figma design file. Now uh, over here, I should be able to simply create a brand new design. I'll probably build up a couple of frames here in the future, which we can play around with and view in real time. But for the time being, let me share this out as well. All right, I'll paste this one into the description of the video as well as here in the Notion board. Let's jump on Google Sheets and I've actually created a simple sheet here called Pricing Calculator, which I'm sharing out for anyone to view. And I'm gonna populate this with all the metrics and calculations that I want for this to work. And again, this is also in the Notion board over here. Let's have a look. We've got the Notion board with the link over here. We've got the GitHub repo and link. We've got the editor landing page and link, the Figma design and link, as well as the Google Sheet and link. And all of this I'm going to copy across over here to the Discord where we're running the pricing calculator. I'm going to edit the channel here and paste all of this so that people can jump in and view it immediately when they jump in. It's not that pretty right now, but I'll work on that slowly. And here, if you guys want to follow along, if you want to contribute, let me know. Next week, I'll be doing a live stream where I'll be building out the design as well as some of the other Google Sheets and plans around this and I'd love if people could be a part of that. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.